So Jimmy Carter is going to offer unique insights on Obama as a global leader on September 4th at the Democrat National Convention. Now, made mention of something at the end of yesterday's program. You may not have heard it. Howard Feynman. He's always been a Newsweek. For as long as I've been doing this, Howard Feynman's been a Newsweek. But he's not a Newsweek anymore. He's now over at the Huffing and Puffington Post. And he occasionally still has his guest shot over there at MSNBC. Now, Howard Feynman once came in and did a week-long tag-along with me as he was writing a cover story on me for Newsweek. The mid-90s. And then on Thursday of that week, Time Magazine got whiff of it. So they ran their own cover of me, just a picture. There wasn't really a story on me. But when Newsweek heard Time had learned they were going to do the cover, they broomed it. They didn't do it. But anyway, I spent a week with this guy. Now he, he's from Pittsburgh. Now he's, he's obviously a lib, and, and he's a Democrat. I never thought... He was nuts. I I never thought he was part of this crop of Democrats. But then I saw that he tweeted something, which has has, has totally changed my opinion of Howard Feynman. He tweeted, Brits long ago lost their empire. They've got some social strife, but overall they're showing us how to lose global power gracefully. Show us how to lose global power gracefully. A tantamount admission that that's exactly what Obama's doing. Obama is a steward of a nation in decline. Obama is overseeing the decline. Obama is the author of the decline, and now we find that that's good. And that we can learn from the Brits how to lose global power gracefully. Yes, there is a graceful way to lose global power. There's a wonderful way to go out there and become a doormat. And in the process, this is what we get now in the UK Telegraph. Beijing tells U.S. to shut up over South China Sea tensions. Do you think that the Chai Coms, when either of the Bushes were president, or when Reagan was president, or even maybe Clinton was president, you think the Chai Coms would have... Put it out there that the U.S. just to shut up over South China Sea tensions. Talk about a diplomatic breach. So I guess now we know what Obama's unique insights of being a global leader are. You sit there and you preside over the decline of the United States as a superpower. You sit there and, and maybe you do that because it was never a good thing that we were a superpower. That's probably it. It was never a good thing, because what did we do? Well, as a superpower in the world of Obama, we went around and we stole everything from everybody. And we subjugated people, and we enforced freedom on them. Yeah, that's right. We forced our way of life on people. We went in there, we liberated them from bondage and poverty, and then we made them live in freedom. And who were we to impose freedom on people? Who do we think we are? And then we stole their oil. And we stole their natural gas. Then we stole their diamonds. And we started calling them blood diamonds. And then we propped up thug regimes of white people. And we went out there and we made sure that third world nations stayed third world and poor and so forth. While we enforced freedom. What a horrible place this country has been. But now it's time to give it up. Now it's time to give away the superpower business. Now it's time to give away our weapons of deterrence, give away vestiges of our strength. It's time now to lose global power gracefully.
Obama knows how to do it on his own. It's why he got the Peace Prize. But the Brits can show us how to do it gracefully. And we're seeing lessons now right in front of our faces as we watch the Olympics. I guess that's the message. So there you have it. That's the future. Under Howard Feynman and Barack Obama.